Father, wait. Son, what is it? Missy, for the jump on, eh? Okay, sir. What is he doing here? What does he come here to do? It's okay. Let's go. We'll talk about it. Let's go. This is John Paul, my gate man, and this is Adora, my, my husband. Adora. Father, I'm disappointed at you. Disappointed? Disappointed at me? I don't understand. How? Why? I've been in this house with you since mom died. I've done virtually everything that you've asked me to do. But you have not even bothered or ever thought of sending me abroad. And now you want to send Mazie, another man's son, abroad? Why, father? Why? Son? Is that why you are pesting around? Is that why? Is that not reason enough? Is that not reason enough, father? Son, if one wakes up tomorrow, or if one wakes up and asks you what your father is capable of doing, are you telling me you don't know what you tell him? Are you telling me that I don't know what you're talking about? Listen, someone, listen. That boy. 
that boy in his ear has a bright future. And he needs, he needs to what, father? He needs to what? So this is your plan. Father, this is your plan. We shall see. Fred! Fred! Work now. Shut up! Who told you? Do you not know that you started working in this house the very moment you stepped your ugly, poverty, righteous freaking foot into my father's house? Huh? Now let me ask you Have you washed my father's cars? Have you washed his clothes? Have you washed my clothes? Have you swept the compound? Have you cleansed this house? What have you done, you poor human being? Well, your father never told me of all this. Besides, those are the work of the gate man at the house head. Shut, 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 shut. One more word from you, I'll change it for you. I'll change it for you. You don't want to see me angry, do you? Now get going. Get going. Get going now. One, two. Idiot. Fool. Have you seen, have you seen a bed this big in your whole miserable life? the flank to sack me. John Paul, don't bother yourself. Nobody will sack you because I'm washing the car. I should not bother myself. Nobody will sack you because I'm washing the car. Oh, I can't say no understand this thing. I forgot the flank is here and I'm in trouble. Eh? Please, please, please. John Paul. John Paul. Okay. Oh, I said it. Oh, you don't put me for top for now, eh? You don't put me for top for now. Please, okay, 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 please. Don't, don't touch me. I, I, I don't want to say make you know, make you know watch this guy. Say you ain't gonna put me for top. Please, please, don't sack me. Please, don't sack me. Please. Who wants to sack you? What are you talking about? Get up from there and stop embarrassing your generation. Get up and stop fooling yourself. Get up, get up, get up. Hey, 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 hey. Come forward. Um, now, I just want to inform you that from now henceforth, you will neither wash the cars, sweep the compound, nor water the flowers. Your sole responsibility will be to man the gates. The rest, Chimezie here, 
you would do all of that. The washing of the cars, the sweeping of the compound, and the watering of the flowers. Taking care of this compound. If I ever catch you doing any of the aforementioned duties, the responsibilities, you would be fired, sacked, relieved. Why are you behaving like a dullard? What don't you understand? You will man the gate only. Nothing else. Get out. Shush, 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 shush. Hey, you. Hey, you. You know who I'm talking to. Are you mad? When I call you once, you answer once. I don't like the way you're scratching this car. Be gentle with it. This is my baby. Don't scratch the paint. You can't afford it. I was washing the rain, eh? When washing the rain, make sure you're meticulous. Because that rain can buy your entire generation. So, Makano fodun di bela afia zonu tutu O fodun di bela afia zonu epipe O fodun di bela budun gwa de keji zo O fodun di bela na zo zi kwada Nemo, nemo na namo Akala kama duni na brofu macha Onyo gazili nu nenu wao Asinga muno onyo zo amu no na gas ligi ofu mata asinga mu no nyozo amu maka no fodu ndi bia la pezo anu tutu u fodu ndi bia la la fa you are not fine yes sir anyway we we'll talk about that later um have you finished washing the car yes sir Where's the car keys ibuti mu ima given gabu ima boke losing chawa Cheji na do masaka ona ubosi Macheji ro onye kuna nuoku Cheji na do masaka ona ubosi o Macheji ro onye kuna nuoku Maka no fodu ndi bela afia zonu tutu O fodu ndi bela afia zonu epipe O fodu ndi bela budu ngwa de keji zo O fodu ndi bela ona zo zi kwada
Okay, let me go and get it. Fast, do it for me. It's best to work. Serve it fast. Since I came into this house, you have turned me into a house help. I sweep the compound, wash the cars that meant for the gate man, tidy the house that meant for the house girl. Frank, why are you doing this? I'm your cousin. It's not what I discussed with your father, my uncle. If I have offended you in any way, Frank, why won't you forgive me? Are you done? You are a fool. A pot-bellied fat idiot. That's what you are. You came to the city to work in my father's company. The house. The house you're walking in is also my father's company. So what's the difference? Work is work. So get to work. So how much is my salary? <laughs> you don't cease to amaze me, you know? I was not wrong when I called you an idiot. You have no sense. Now listen to me. You eat free food in my father's house. You sleep on a bed you can only imagine for free in my father's house. You watch television. Do you even have one in that your dilapidated house? Do you? For free you watch television in my father's house and you have the effrontery, the temerity and audacity to ask me for salary. You are a fool. I am a graduate of business study. Those work are not meant for me. Mm. It's true, it's true. You're right. You know what, cousin? Resign. Okay? Resign. Pack your rags, your wretched clothes, and go back. Now listen, don't you provoke me. Because if you do, I will ask my father to send you back to the village to that your wretched and poverty-stricken family in that your dilapidated house. Pot-bellied idiot. How can a poor man like you be having a big man's body? Idiot. Get to work. Where's my coffee? Where's the car in wash? You my khaki? Don't you ever hold my cocky again? Can you buy a car? Can you buy a car? Idiot! By the way, who served you this quantity of food? Three pieces of 
meat and a bottle of water in my father's house. Who? Frank, what is wrong with this food? Everything. Everything is wrong with the food. Who served you this? Darcy! Darcy! Yes, I'm Darcy! Yes, I'm Sir, are you here, sir? I didn't call you. Don't you ever make me scream your name again! I'm sorry, sir. Who served them this quantity of food? Three pieces of meat and a bottle of water in my father's house. Who did that? Well, other uh, friend, there is nothing wrong with the food. Everything is damn wrong with this. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. How many pieces of meat do you give to my father or me in my father's house? How many? You see? Look at you. I'm watching you. I'm watching you, Dorothy. You're sleeping with him, right? He's your boyfriend. You people have turned my father's room into a toilet. But pray, Dorothy, pray, pray, pray I don't catch you red-handed. Because I'm going to suck you without my father's permission. Idiot, fool, animals. Now take this plate, get back to the kitchen. Take out two pieces of meat, take the bottle of water along and bring back the empty rice for him. He needs it. He needs to eat. He's hungry. He's hungry. He needs it. Get out. You won't get me angry, right? You, 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 won't, you won't feel me, right? Are you mad? When your father was alive, when you were in that dilapidated, wretched home, do you ever eat this quantity of food? Do you ever eat food as delicious as this? Have you ever eaten three pieces of meat before with a bottle of water? Huh? Have you? Have you? Idiot. You are in my father's house, sleeping in a, in a big room, having an AC, eating three pieces of meat. Fool! Miserable idiot! Wretched soul! Hey, Dorothy! Ago. Asani! Um, I, I, I was at the office last week, Monday. You were at the office last week, Monday. Just listen to yourself. And today is Thursday. How many days? I say, how many days? Just count it. Count them! Listen, Frank, if you don't want to take your job serious, I have to employ Moise to take over your position. Understand? What? Yes! No, Dad, you do no such thing. You can't do that to me. You I am going to do it. I say I will do it if you don't take your job serious. Else, yeah. let me reserve my comment. Dad, you don't do that to your son. Where the hell are you going to? I want to see my uncle. You want to see my father? For what? Um, anyway, he's uh, resting right now and he wouldn't want to see anybody, okay? So, she should. Frank, why are you doing all this? You are my brother. Have I in any way offended you? Your father knows that I'm coming. I saw him when he was coming back from work. 
And I told him that I would like to see him. He told me to come in 30 minutes time. This is almost one hour. Oh, God, say shut up. Why are you being so stubborn and stupid? I just told you that the man is resting and we don't want to see anybody. Eh? Where did they walk you? Where did they worry you? Why do you want to kill my father for me so that I'll be fatherless like you? Frank, what is wrong with you? Allow me to see him. You must be very stupid. I keep calling you a pot-bellied fool. Now I know you are daft. Now get out. Frank. Oga say waka now, the waka turn like this, the waka. I say, I say, let the waka now. They don't want to step back. They don't want to go back. Be careful how you treat people. What do you do to others? 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 What I don't understand what is happening. What is it you don't understand? Before I accepted following me from the village to the city, you promised to employ me into your company, or rather take me to abroad. But I have not seen any sign. Rather, you and your son Frank pulled me into the hospital. Missy. The problem with you young boys nowadays is impatience. Do you know how far I've gone with your documents? I've gone very far. The reason I've not brought it out is I want to be sure your documents are correct. I don't want you to have problem when you get to overseas. I don't want you to be disappointed. Well, Understand? Well, I don't think that traveling documents take much time like that. It's up to five months. I've been here doing nothing. Maisie, relax. You will soon travel. You will travel, I promise you. Uncle, oh, I'm no more comfortable with your promises. I say you travel. Relax. Understand? Because someday you will realize you've lost a diamond. Because someday you will realize you've lost something so precious. So be kind, so be good to anyone that is around you. So be kind, so be good to anyone you come across with. Because tomorrow is far, tomorrow is deep, onye mechi. Because tomorrow is far, tomorrow is deep, echi di me. Ooh, onye mechi. Ooh, onye mechi. Cheta kwa na mada bora chuku ewo mada bora chuku cheta kwa na mada bora chuku enimo mada bora chuku uuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuu
Ha! John Paul and money. John Paul, how can you be talking of money when the month is remaining six days to finish and you are telling me about money? Are you telling me you are not saving? You should save for emergency like this. Oh God, how can I save money when you never pay me this foremost? Huh? How can I save money? You've not been paid for four months. I saw so the fact now. You never pay me this foremost. I don't believe it. Frank! Frank! Yes, sir. Frank, come in. Yes, sir. Frank! Frank! What's up, that's it. John Paul here told me if not paid him for four months. Is it true? That? Oh, come on. I, I told him I was going to pay him by the end of the month. Was that what I told you? And I told end of the month. So that means John Paul was correct. Fra Frank, listen to yourself. Just listen to yourself. You are a great man. If not paid him for four months, and you are talking. I told him end of the month. Will you keep quiet? How do you expect him to cope? Can't you see that my life, your own father, your own life, the life of everybody in this house, are in his hands? Will you yes. shut up? Will you shut up? My father is talking, you are talking. Whose life is in your hands? Our life is in the hands of God. Will you shut up? What's your problem? That I was, I, I'm going to, I'm going to find him some money I give to him. Ah, uh, my father is talking, you are talking. Will you keep quiet? I said, keep quiet! Jesus Christ. Dad, I'll raise some money. Shh. It's okay, John Paul. You can go. See me in an hour's time. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You're a good man, sir. Thank you, sir. What are you trying to form? Hey, you're a good man. What does that make me? Get out of here. Will you keep quiet? That take a chill pill, okay? Relax. See, I, I, I have something I actually wanted to tell you. So, what is it? Good. It's my dad. See, dad. Huh? I honestly, sincerely think that we are wasting money on John Paul. Yes, the money we are paying him is a waste of resources. How do you mean? Chimizi is in this house. He does virtually nothing but sleep, eat, wake, watch TV, and freelance like this is his wretched father's house. I'm suggesting we sack John Paul. Let's pay him off. We'll replace him with Chimizi. I'm sure he will do a better job and he will still be grateful. And business wise, we'll pay him half the salary we're paying John Paul. Wisdom never came here, Daddy. Think about it. Is that what you want? Yes, Dad. Because I don't want to hear stories. Come on, Dad. You won't hear any stories. Leave it for me. Take a chill pill. <sighs> it's okay. Pay John Paul off and arrange a meeting with Jimmy Z immediately. Yes, sir. Consider it done. Aquinata <laughs> Ina tami na fumo na mamni buke, akwa na fumi na simunda mamni sebu. My father and I called for this meeting. 
However, the United was going to be taking a decision. And by the power of our tongue, give it to me. I speak for both of us. John Paul, this family, and in my family and that, of course, we are thanking you very tremendously for having manned our gates this long. Thank you, sir. You've done much. Chief, good. thank you, sir. Yeah. And we also want to inform you that you are being relieved of your duty as a gift man of this compound. That is to say, you are fired, sacked. You can actually go pack your things and go get out of this compound. This is because Chimezi here will be taking over as a new gift man of this company. Yes. Now let me ask you, John Paul, John Paul, when I talk to you, you give me eye contact. I hope we are no longer owing you anything. No, but, 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 but. No, no, but. That's all I want to hear. No, sir. Because in this family, we don't owe anything. So, you can actually go now. Uncle, you are not saying anything. You heard what Frank said. That I, your late brother's son, a gate man in my own uncle's house, a first class graduate of business admin. Uncle, you are not saying anything. Well, Maisie. Frank here, my son, is being, and I am him. His, what he said to you is the family's decision. To me, there is nothing bad in being a gay man. People do it these days. I don't know why you were taking it somehow. I expect you to accept it in good faith. Yours is not different, you know. Well, as long as I'm concerned, this discussion is over. John Paul, my regards to you. She may say, please go to the gate and take your position. Hey, 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 come back, come back, come back, come back. Come back. Make sure you don't leave with this thing. Okay? Remove it and hand it over to the new gift man. So that you don't go and be wearing to the church. What is happening? Is this real or what? I Mezi, a gate man. Wait, wait, wait. Thank God. Now, you were telling me something on the phone the other day that I couldn't get you clearly. That is the reason why I invited you to see face to face with me. Yes, brother. What I was telling you on the phone is that I want to build a hotel in this community. 
a five star hotel, a very big, gigantic hotel in this village, mother. Yes, Zoku. Yes, brother. Good, good. Is there any I'm supposed to do in order to make the project a successful one. Yes, yes. As my other brother, that's why I have to come to you and tell you, brother. I, I want you to give me that your land at Amadike. But that's why I brought this drink for you. Keep your drink. Keep the drink first. Sorry, my brother. I want you to repeat what you have just said. Maybe I have not gotten you clearly. What, what did you say? But what I said was, that you are land at Amadike. I want you to give it to me, so that I will build a hotel. A big hotel, brother. Sorry, if I may ask. You have a very mighty land beside my own at Amadike. Why don't you make use of your own? Brother, but, but I, I'm expecting you to understand. That land, my land at Amadike, I reserved it for my filling station. See what I have in mind. I will build the filling station here. The other side will be my five star hotel. It's my own good. Okay, you want to own the whole world alone. I'm sorry. Listen, this is your request will never be granted. Listen to me. You and I know we don't have enough land in this community. And besides, that my own land at Amadike is the only land I have. I reserve it for my son here, Monsieur. He will build a house there. Even if he doesn't, any of his children will do so. Uh, brother, 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 at times I don't understand you. Why are you talking like this, brother? Why are you talking like this? Nezia here is still a small boy. He's still in school. He doesn't know much. But uh, Messi is not married. He has no children. He doesn't even have plans for himself yet. But brother, brother, I, I don't understand. Brother, how are you sure Messi will make it in life? Do you know what? What is it? My mind is telling me something. Which is? My mind is telling me that Uncle did what he did because of that land you refused to give him. You are correct, my son. You see that my brother, he hardly forgets something. He's a wicked man. But don't worry, my son. God will show us a way out. But why is he like that? Onyanachi, that is his own way of life. Let's go, my son. God will take care of everything. I don't know why. Still thinking about what your uncle Chief Madoka told you. Mama, I'm so 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 confused. I don't know what to do. Ever since I graduated from school, I searched for job. I didn't get job. I came back to this village. You want to help me? I was roaming around the village. Now that my friend's brother wants to help me, Uncle Madoka appeared from nowhere, telling me that he wants to help me. He wants to employ me in his company. He wants to take me abroad. Mama, 
have you forgotten that when I wanted to do my IT program, I and Papa went to his house for him to employ me in his company. He refused. Mama, I'm not sure it's for real. <sighs> my son, maybe that is how God wants it. If you ask me to suggest, I will ask you to follow him to the city. Now that God has touched his heart to remember you. Hmm? Beside my son, he has been like a father to you since the death of your father. Mama, eh? even at that, I'm not still convinced. <sighs> okay, you know what? Let's allow the will of God to be done. Eh? Smile now. Oh, Wanga. I thought as much. Does it mean this man brought me to his house? To rubbish my life because my father refused to give him the only land we have. But we do. I have to confront him. No, no, no. I'm a man. I have to confront him. Is it that you don't know how to wash your car or something? This car is clean. Clean in your dirty eyes. As dirty as you are, you just messed up my car. Look at what you say is clean. Look, 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 at, look at dirt everywhere. Listen, I cannot drive out in a dirty car as this. You have to rewash this car because it's obvious you just wasted soap and water. I washed it very well. That's the problem. How can a dirty man, dirty, stinking man, ever make anything clean? We wash this car. I'm coming out to drive it to work in the next 30 minutes. And pick up your feet. Pot belly food.
young man, how are you? Chief, chief. Huh? You are enjoying yourself. Oh. Too full of Chief, chief. <laughs> Too full of how are you? I'm fine. You're welcome. Yeah. Please have a seat. Thank you. Chief, <coughs> what is happening here? So, what is it? Chief, what is happening here? What is it? That young man at the gate. And what about him? <clears throat> is he not the young boy you introduced to me as your late brother's son during the time I attended your late brother's burial? Yes, you are right. That's him. Okay. What is he doing at the gate? Did you employ him as your gate man? Oh, yes. I employed him as my gate man. No, 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 chief. That is quite unfair. You should have employed him in your company to be working for you and be making money. And not as a gate man. It's quite unfair. Wait, Teofilos, have you forgotten what I told you? Have you forgotten I told you I went to the village to meet his father and told him to give him his land? That I want to build a five star hotel. Can the village in Marana flag and if we go? Now flag and if we go. And he refused. And so what, chief? And so what? Is it by force for somebody to give you his land? For you to build an estate? Or no hotel? No anything? Is it by force? Is that why you are suffering and humiliating that young man? And employ him as your gate man? Listen, listen, Jephthah. Listen, let me tell you something. That boy, you see, has a bright future. A very big, brighter future. I don't want to employ him in my company because if I employ him, he will top with me. I don't want anybody to challenge me in my village. Not to talk of a boy from my company. No, 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 no. Chief, Chief, Chief Madoka, <laughs> you see your life. I thought of that. You want to be the richest man in your community so that nobody will challenge you. Let me ask you, are you their God? Chief, are you their God? Our people say that Ufo Sisi are the member of your chief. Chief Ufo Sisi are the member of your chief. Ufo are the member of your have you we discussed where you are in? The general to a mandafia is the one in me. The general to a mandafia is the one in me. The general to a massacre on our passing. My general, you're a good one. Follow the gasoline as we go. 